now we have looked already at a limit of a function much 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 uh, sessions back but now we are going to look at it in a much more formal manner uh, so a function f of x is said to tend to a limit l as x tends to a if for every epsilon greater than zero however small there exists a corresponding real number such that f of x minus l is less than epsilon for all x minus a between delta and zero between zero and delta now this is denoted as or denoted by limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to l now graphically how does it look like so let's say we have a function right so for different values of x there will be different values of y so here we don't say y remember we talk in terms of functions so this is x and this is f of x so now what happens is uh, let's say i'm interested in this particular value at a but for some reason i'm not able to evaluate the value of f of x for x equal to a simplest example if i have to give you is let's say my function is um, x square minus 4 by x minus 2 now what happens in this case if i have to evaluate f of x f at 2 what happens i get 2 square minus 4 and 2 minus 2 which is 0 by 0 which is problematic which is undefined or i can say indeterminate so now in such a case i need to do some way by which i can figure out if not at uh, if, if um, even though i can't say at f of 2 what it is i should be able to say what who could it become at x equal to a so that what it could become is what is called the limit okay so for that what i do is i basically just get very close to a right and i get very close to a from both the sides and remember i can get as close to it as I want so let us say this is L the corresponding to a let's say L is there limit remember it will never actually um, we can't evaluate exactly what is at a what we can say is uh, it reaches a particular limit so this is let's say a plus delta and on this side you have a minus delta now above one is l plus epsilon and this is l minus epsilon so for all values of epsilon however small right i can keep making epsilon smaller and smaller to get nearer and nearer to the limit there will always be a corresponding corresponding value for x again which will be closer and closer to a so that is what we mean we say that for all values of epsilon greater than zero because if it is equal to 0 it becomes equal to limit right so epsilon greater than 0 
however small there exists a corresponding real number such that f of x minus l is less than epsilon whenever x minus a is between 0 and delta. So, this is called the epsilon delta definition of a limit of a function. Remember, what this basically means is that the distance between f of x and l that is the limit can be made as small as we want whenever x is sufficiently close to a from and this is important either side of a but not necessarily equal to a but not necessarily equal to a okay so x minus a the distance between x and a is between 0 and delta implies that for all x belonging to a minus delta and a plus delta this is the case when it can't be actually equal to a now remember f of x may not exist at x equal to a or I should rather say may or may not exist at x equal to a. That means basically that if you have a curve there might be a hole in it at a particular point to find the limit at x equal to a f of a need not exist or may not be equal to to the limit so which means it may not exist i have shown this let me put it like this let's say there is a gap but the value at that point itself is somewhere else okay so the limit is here but f of a is here so f of a is not equal to the limit or f of a itself doesn't exist in this case so uh, be clear about this aspect so as i said uh, um, here somewhere that it we can go from either side right from either side of a that means if we look at this graph if i put a coordinates then this is let's say a i can go from this side or this side right remember the definition says i can go go as close to a as i want so which means i can go from either side so that is why we have left hand limit and right hand limit so what is left hand li uh, limit a function f of x is set to tend to l as x tends to a from the left if for every epsilon greater than 0 however small there exists a real number delta greater than 0 such that right so all this i can write it like this f of x minus l is less than epsilon the distance between f of x and l the limit is less than epsilon whenever x is between a minus delta and a so if we again go back to our graph here i am coming from this side uh, making delta smaller and smaller x is between a minus delta and or in other words let me just remove this f of x belongs to l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon for all x belonging to a minus delta 
and a that is between a minus delta and a and this is written as limit as x approaches a minus that is from the left hand side of f of x is equal to l and this is called the left hand limit or in short LHL. Now just like a left hand limit we can have right hand limit and the uh, as you can imagine the definition goes very similar to it. So a function f of x is set to tend to a limit L as x tends to a through the values greater than a or from the right we can also say if for every epsilon greater than 0 however small there exists a real number delta greater than 0 such that the distance between f of x and l is less than epsilon whenever x is between a and a plus delta or we can also write this as f of x belongs to l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon and this we write we can write it as limit as x approaches a plus that is from the positive side or from the right hand side of f of x is equal to l and this is called the right hand limit or RHL. If we combine these two, we say limit exists or in other words, the limit of a function. Now, I am not talking of right hand limit or left hand limit. I am just saying limit of a function f of x as x tends to a is said to be L if and only if both left hand limit and the right hand limit exist and they are equal. So limit of a function exists if and only if limit as x approaches a from the negative side or from the left hand side of f of x is equal to L and limit as x approaches a plus that is from the positive side or from the right hand side of f of x is equal to let's say l prime right so the first condition is they must exist so here they exist exist that is one condition second condition is the limit that is the left hand limit should be equal to the right hand limit only if both these two conditions are satisfied we say the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to l so this is a limit of a function so again graphically if you want to look at it if i might have a function which goes like this so that means there is a gap in between a big gap right i can't make epsilon arbitrarily small or as small as i want because there is a big jump or it might not it it may be a big jump that means in the surroundings of a also the limit doesn't exist it could be like this or it could be like this right there is a jump here here there is a jump here like this here there is a jump like this so here the left hand limit and the right hand limit they are not equal to each other or it might be as i showed before let's say hole in between or in the middle or at some point so that is limit of a function using epsilon delta notation bye for now